Hey guys, here I am up in the hill. Uh, and the mist has just come in. It was clear earlier. Now the mist has come in. You'll be hitting the screen. Probably the wind as well. Anyway, um, I've been thinking about that saying. Um, it goes to know yourself, look outward into nature, and to know nature, look inward into yourself. Um, what does it actually mean? Uh, how do you work with the truth of it? So I've been thinking about this mist coming down and how beforehand um, you could see for miles and now the mist has come in um, you can hardly see over to that little hillock over there that one over there before you could see right over to away off the edge and what that actually means in relationship to, to um, know yourself, look outward into nature. Would that mean, for instance, um, there's times when the mist comes in, you maybe get tired or you get less inspired even, more kind of sad with the dampness of the air and you kind of can't see as far and all you can see is this closeness and there's a kind of calmness in it as well like it being in the mist is an amazing kind of calm relaxedness in it it's just fantastic, really peaceful, even though it's quite windy at the moment. And there's a lot of uh, cloud appearing on the screen, so I better leave it there. But post your thoughts below on this, because I think it's an important question to work with. There's a lot of truth in it. Um, I'm just wondering how you see into it. If you know what I mean. Yeah, first, below, let me know your thoughts on the saying that Steiner and Goethe gives it himself as well. To know yourself, look outward. To know inwards into yourself. Have a good one. Bye for now.